I fucking hate everything and constantly go to sleep hoping to wake up to everything in the last year or so being a terrible, horrible nightmare or simply not waking up at all. Unfortunately, this is not to be, and I am stuck in the darkest timeline where Cheeto Hitler has been elected to office. But fortunately, every once in a while, something comes along that allows me to delude myself that anything has meaning and worth anymore. Supergiant Games are a studio that consistently seems able to produce games and music that does this to me, from one of my favorite games of all time, Bastion, to their follow-up Transistor, a game the universe seems completely and utterly forever conspiring to never let me play, along with their soundtracks, which are straight up tied for my all-time favorite in video games, along with Persona 4 Dancing All Night, which as a game has no right being as good as it is. So waking up one day and seeing that their newest game was out, which somehow completely slipped under my radar, I immediately brought the version which included the soundtrack. I'm not sure what I was getting into, but my fucking non-existent god, this is my favorite thing Supergiant has put out. Experiencing this thing without a single idea of what I was getting into is simply put so far my favorite game experience of the year. So if you have $30 on you, go out and immediately purchase the soundtrack edition. Or if you can't or simply don't care for some fucking great music, you soulless heathen, then buy it sans the soundtrack. But just get this fucking game. 10 out of 10, what are you waiting for? Buy it. Alright, I know for a fact that I can't do this thing justice, but let me at least try to convince you. If I had to describe Pyre in a few words, they would be visual novel meets Oregon Trail meets sports ball game. And good Christ, that is terrible, but I really can't think of any other way to describe it in few words. The game starts with you being cast out of the Commonwealth into the downside, a sort of hellish purgatory land, to live out the rest of your life in exile because you know how to read and that is illegal. You are then found by a bunch of mass people who reveal themselves to be just some average doe, a mustached cur, basically just a dog, a female demon, who ask if you can read. Then when you do, manage to get you all transported to a place where a guy in the sky with a giant glowing talking star crown thing teaches you how to play literal fantasy sports ball, where the points are scored via constant suicide via self-immolation, which eventually, if you win enough times, will allow you to earn your freedom to return to the Commonwealth not only forgiven of all crimes, but exalted to the upper echelons of society. So yeah, like Supergiant's previous games, you are thrust into a world where shit is completely and utterly alien and fantastical to the point where you have no idea what is going on, but written in such a fantastic way that learning anything about it is a goddamn treat. This is not a world I would like to live in, but hell if it's not utterly captivating, all the more elevated by phenomenal art design as always. And like always, the sound design is on point. The music, made by a Mr. Darren Corp, like all of the rest of their music, is absolutely stellar. Again, by the soundtrack. And if you don't believe me, well, the Supergiant YouTube channel has the entire thing for free up on there. So what do you have to lose? Link down below, give it a listen if you are yet unconvinced. Or just go listen if you like some good fucking music. Now, in the past two games, there has been a narrator that more than earns his paycheck narrating what the character is doing, with enough recorded lines to make it seem as if he was commenting on your personal playthrough. Well, things are a bit different in this game. He doesn't narrate all the things you do, but he does in the rights. And what are the rights, you ask? Well, they are the aforementioned literal fantasy sports ball sections of the game. Gameplay is split into three parts, the first being a the first being the visual novel-esque portions, lots of text in the form of dialogue, choices on how you respond to questions and situations, along with the ability to hover over certain words or terms that open up boxes that give you the relevant background information. Organ Trail-like portions in which you pick from branching paths, each with their own benefits and occasional drawbacks if you pick wrong. And then there are the rights, the actual game of the gameplay. When beginning literal fantasy sports ball, one must pick three from your cast of exiles to take to the court. Once chosen, it is only possible to move one around, but you can switch at will. Depending on the character, they will walk and run slash dash at different speeds, jump different lengths, and have auras of different size, which kill any and all opposition who touch them, unless theirs is bigger, in which case you will perish. You also have the ability to throw your aura, the width and length you can do so being character specific, which will bypass other characters' auras completely, but will make yours disappear entirely while you aim and a moment afterwards once you throw it. The aim of this is to capture the celestial orb slash ball, 
during which your aura is completely gone, and then throw that character into the enemy's pyre or simply throw it in, but it won't do as much damage as if you chose self-immolation. Rinse, repeat, and do so until the enemy's pyre is completely and utterly drained. I do not consider myself much of a fan of sports games, but towards the end of the game there were some wins that I pulled off by the skin of my teeth that legitimately had me yelling in victory. Pyre is my favorite game that Supergiant has put out, and for good reason. This is a legitimate work of art and fiction. Purchase it immediately, you will not regret the 10 hours it will captivate you. Well, once again, that's been my thoughts on Pyre. Like this video if you like it. If you didn't, well, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and if you would be so kind, feel free to support me on Patreon or various other links down below. Well, that's been me for the day, Juan John John. I shall see you next time.